despite securing approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security, CCS, for the acquisition of Rafale M fighter jets for aircraft carriers, the Indian Navy is confronted with a lengthy delay, with deliveries expected only after 2030. This decision follows a long process of evaluating the Navy's requirements for modern, carrier-based combat aircraft. The Rafale M jets, expected to enhance the Navy's airpower, are set to replace older aircraft on its aircraft carriers. However, the delayed timeline has raised concerns over the Navy's preparedness and the impact on its operational readiness in the coming years. The Indian Consulate in Melbourne has been attacked once more, marking the latest in a series of incidents targeting Indian diplomatic facilities. The High Commission of India has raised the issue with Australian authorities, seeking immediate action and better protection for its staff and premises. The attack, which occurred in 2025, comes amid growing concerns over the safety of Indian diplomatic missions abroad. The Indian government has expressed its displeasure, urging stronger measures to prevent further incidents and ensure the security of its representatives in foreign territories. A new threat has emerged on the Punjab border, with an increasing number of improvised explosive devices or IEDs being planted along the area, coupled with rising drone activity. These developments have raised significant security concerns, with the BSF being urged to undertake a major counteroperation to sanitize the border region. The growing menace of IEDs and drones poses a serious risk to the safety of personnel and infrastructure. Security experts recommend urgent measures to neutralize these threats and secure the border against further disruptions. Zyro Labs, in collaboration with IIT Madras, has introduced Compact AI, a groundbreaking development that enables affordable AI model operations on standard CPUs, bypassing the need for expensive GPUs. The innovation comes after years of research aimed at making AI more accessible, especially for industries and institutions with budget constraints. By allowing AI models to run efficiently on common processors, Compact AI is expected to democratize the use of advanced AI technologies, providing scalable and cost-effective solutions across sectors. This partnership highlights a key shift towards broader AI adoption, without the prohibitive costs typically associated with high-performance computing. Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers GRSE has secured a Rs. 489.98 crore order to deliver two advanced coastal research vessels to the Geological Survey of India within the next 36 months. This order is part of GSI's ongoing efforts to enhance its research capabilities along India's coastline. GRSE, known for its expertise in shipbuilding, is expected to leverage its technical prowess to meet the project's stringent requirements. The vessels will significantly aid in coastal surveys and scientific research, further strengthening India's maritime infrastructure. Pakistani media has reported that China has assured the development of secretive sixth-generation fighter jets by 2030, promising cutting-edge capabilities. This development is seen as part of China's broader military modernization strategy. However, Analysts have raised doubts about the feasibility of meeting this ambitious timeline, pointing out the complex technological and production challenges involved in creating such advanced aircraft. The promise comes amid growing concerns over global defense dynamics, as China continues to bolster its aerospace and defense capabilities, particularly in the context of regional security. Russian tank maker Ural Vagonzavod, under state-owned Rostec, has unveiled a radically redesigned T-90 main battle tank, shaped by lessons from the Ukraine conflict. Departing from decades of tradition, the new model eliminates the rotating turret, long a staple of Russian armor, to improve crew safety and survivability. This shift responds to vulnerabilities exposed in combat, including deadly turret explosions. UVZ emphasized that future tanks must prioritize protection and firepower over rapid targeting. The redesign also facilitates integration of advanced defense systems like active protection systems, marking a significant evolution in Russia's armored warfare strategy. The Indian Air Force is charting a long-term course toward fielding a supersonic unmanned combat aerial vehicle, with operational deployment likely around 2035 to 2040. This conceptual UCAV is envisioned to feature supercruise capability, 
sustain flight beyond the speed of sound without afterburners, and an internal weapons bay capable of carrying up to 4 tons. Weighing in at an estimated 35 to 40 tons, it would rival manned fighter jets in scale and performance. While this ambitious project remains in early conceptual stages, the IF is currently focused on the Guttuck UCAV, a stealthy 13-ton drone under development by the DRDO's Aeronautical Development Establishment. With a 1.5-ton weapons payload, Guttuck is being designed for subsonic deep strike and reconnaissance missions and is expected to draw on lessons from previous projects like the Swift Demonstrator and Rustum drones. The futuristic supersonic UCAV would likely use twin engines derived from the upcoming Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, featuring advanced stealth, AI-enabled autonomy, and strategic reach of up to 1,500 kilometers. Although far from realization, the project reflects India's intention to stay ahead in unmanned aerial warfare, amid regional advancements by countries like China and Russia. The Indian Air Force has developed a pioneering wolf pack strategy to address the challenges of a potential two-front war scenario. The strategy aims to enhance the IF's ability to coordinate multidimensional operations by leveraging network-centric warfare, which ensures seamless communication and data sharing among various platforms. A key feature of this strategy is the integration of manned and unmanned systems, allowing the IF to enhance its operational reach and effectiveness in complex battle environments. The Wolf Pack concept involves a network of air assets operating in tandem, where manned fighter jets and drones work together, providing mutual support and creating tactical advantages on the battlefield. This approach not only improves the combat capabilities of the IF, but also strengthens its deterrence posture in the face of multiple threats. By utilizing real-time data exchange, the strategy ensures greater flexibility, rapid responses, and optimized targeting. This strategic shift comes as the IF continues to adapt to evolving threats, aiming for greater synergy in defending the nation across diverse terrains and adversaries. India's Defense Minister recently praised the DRDO and the Indian Air Force for their significant achievement in enhancing air power through the successful 100 km trials of the indigenous Gaurav long-range guided bombs. This accomplishment highlights India's growing capability in precision strike technologies and self-reliance in defense production. The successful trials, conducted by the IAF, mark a crucial milestone in the development of advanced weapon systems that will improve the country's air combat capabilities. The Gaurav LRGB is expected to offer high accuracy and precision, significantly strengthening India's defense posture. The defense minister acknowledged the combined efforts of DRDO and IAF emphasizing the strategic importance of these advancements in India's defense infrastructure. The successful testing of the Gaurav LRGBs is seen as a testament to the country's continued progress toward achieving greater defense autonomy and operational readiness. That's all from YTS Team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.